Two months ago, you may remember, I went down to London to get my feet 3D scanned. And this is what it is all about. It is the first phase of the new Vivo Biome scan to print footwear a radical new design where they are taking your bespoke foot measurements and printing a shoe 10 years ago i was a designer i designed everything from kids toys to airplanes and i always dreamt of creating a radically innovative but also environmentally responsible product we had a 3d printer in the office but nothing as exciting as this. I am super excited to be involved in the wearer test trials, taking these new Vivo biomes for a test drive, moving in them, running in them, testing them to destruction. The whole idea of the wearer test is so that we can provide feedback so Vivo are then able to create better designs. This is phase one of a three phase process. It is semi bespoke, it is printed to your width of foot, but eventually it will be a locally produced, fully bespoke process. You'll be able to pick the color, you'll be able to pick custom things that you want from a shoe. So here we are testing today. How do they move? How do they feel? What does it feel like to be more connected to the shoe and to nature through this innovative? and radical design process. My review and first thoughts. I love the innovation. I love the fact that a company is putting so much foresight into the products they create and then also their end of life. The idea is that these are gonna be printed locally to you so that cuts down on transport. It also means that end of life, they'll be recycled and repurposed, meaning that the materials can be reused in other shoes. I love the width, they feel like they're made for my feet, which is an amazing feeling. When you put them on, you feel like Cinderella. They feel like they fit purposely for your foot. I love the flat laces and the color. What do you think about the color? I think the color is fantastic. I like to wear a lot of dark colors, but putting these on, I feel like I want to move. I feel like they're invigorating me. Just look at them. You can't be sad wearing a pair of shoes like that. Weight wise, these are 234 grams. The Primus Light in the same size is 216 grams. So not a huge amount of difference. Things that I feel could be improved with future iterations. At the minute, the sole itself doesn't move quite how I would like a sole to move. You can see with the new Viva Biome, it sort of moves segmentally, and that's a lot to do with the way that the sole is formed and printed, rather than being like a continuous roll. And I'm aware of that as I'm coming off the ball of my foot, the heel cup and this wing, I would love to see a little bit more flexibility. Versus the way that the Primus Light moves, you can see that there is a lot more twist, longitudinally, and also torsionally, there is a lot more movement. Also, because of the nature of the sole, it doesn't grip. It's not like a tacky feeling. It's, it's quite hard, it's quite unforgiving. So in future iterations, I'd like a little bit more flexibility and the capacity to just roll through as I'm running or as I'm doing some sort of movement. I would love to see a sole which has similar characteristics to that of the Primus Light, because the Primus Light is my current favorite barefoot training shoe. A more fair comparison is probably that to the Motor Strength, which is a much more robust construction and moves very similarly to that of the Vivo Biome sole. Remember, if you are interested in any of the current Vivo Barefoot products, use the code in the description to grab a discount and help support the channel. As a first attempt and as a wearer trial, I'm super stoked to be involved with a company like Vivo who are so forward thinking and thinking about the choices that we are making with our products, the design of those products. And although I'm not a designer anymore, I am stoked to be involved in part of this product development. Is this a design innovation that you are interested in? Are you considering moving and transitioning to a barefoot shoe? I will be delivering more barefoot related content as well as health, fitness and well-being on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future.